Okay, this is another video of the Oki Electric AC125A crossbar PBX. I'm going to try and get um, some more details about different parts of the switch. Um, at the top, you can see there is a, um, a lamp panel. And the lamp panel is where when something goes wrong, like a fuse blows or something, um, or the marker has an, a timeout, uh, the lamp will light up there. Uh, this is a connector panel where all the extensions and trunks are are terminated. Below that is a uh, 48 volt DC power supply, linear of course. And I, this is funny. I like the uh, the switch that they use on this this big power supply. They have this tiny little like slide switch. Uh, and then let's see, we'll go to some of the, the relays starting at the bottom. Uh, well, actually starting way at the bottom. This is the, the fuse panel right here. Um, these are fuses that are, are designed such that uh, when the fuse wire blows, uh, a spring causes a contact uh, with 48 volts in order to allow the um, uh, fuse relay to act activate which lights up the marker lamp and sets off an alarm you can see there's one fuse here that's that's blown um, this one goes to the third both way trunk and I was tapping some power off of that and accidentally popped the fuse while I was doing that these are some just spare slots that have no fuses populated and then if we go over here, this is the uh, ringing and uh, tone plant. It generates um, 400 hertz uh, for the dial tone. And it also generates 20 hertz ringing voltage. And it modulates the um, 400 hertz by 20 hertz to produce the, uh, the ringing back tone. And then next up we have the, the crossbar switch. Uh, this is a unique crossbar switch because it is split in half and on the left half the contacts are nine wires each. I don't know if you can really see that, but if we zoom way in you can kind of see that there's a lot of contacts there. And then once we get past the, um, the halfway point we can see that these, these contacts, they're uh, only six wire contacts. These are the select magnets on the left and on the right. And then uh, there's some more select magnets. And on the bottom are the are the hold magnets that hold the cross point closed after it's been selected. Next up from that, uh, we have a relay group, which is um, uh, part of the marker. So the bottom three rows of relays are part of the marker. And uh, let's see if we can see some close-up view of that. There's a lot, a lot of wire spring relays in the marker, and um, a lot of them are the the split dual relays, uh, like these here, for example. Um, and you can see there's actually two relays in one there. Now if we go up uh, from the marker the next couple rows of relays are for the um, the uh, cutoff relays. There's cutoff relay for extension 10 and here's uh, cutoff relay for extension 50 and if we go all the way down to here's 69. Let's go back a little bit to 60 there. And so 60 should be the cutoff relay for one of the extensions I have wired up. I just can't remember which one. I think it uh, should be this one actually. Yeah, there it is. So we can see when we take the phone off the hook, uh, the cutoff relay for extension 60, 60 activates. And then we put it back on to hang up, uh, the relay just uh, deactivates. 
Then if we go up a little bit farther, uh, we can see, uh, I think this is the um, uh, originating register here with the uh, these kind of reddish looking objects here are, are uh, read relays used for storing uh, dialed digits. So these are the, the two originating registers I believe. I think right about here is where the timing generator starts. Let me take it off hook and uh, you can see those relays counting. Yeah. Okay, so these are these are timing relays that generate timing for the rest of the uh, system. And if we zoom in on that, you can see there's a, a pair of relays that are that are counting. And as we as we move up, we can see that they're counting at a slower and slower rate. And then finally when we get here, I think they're starting to count at like uh, 8 second intervals. That's used for the howler timeout and things like that. And some of the relays over here are counting at 16 and all the way up to 32 second um, intervals for various different timeouts. And over here we have, these are... Um, jumper plugs which let you set configure various options for the switch and there's there's several of those plugs on the way down and I haven't messed with any of those yet but eventually I'll I'll start to figure out what all those options do uh, and then if we look up from the originating registers we can see uh, this one here is uh, the first outgoing trunk, second uh, outgoing trunk, and that's, that's it for that row. Uh, and then if we go up past that, oh sorry, my mistake. So these are the originating registers here, and there's two of them. And let's watch what happens when we dial something. Oop. I need to I need to pick up a dial pulse phone. Let's dial the operator. And we can see that uh, we're ringing the operator right now. Okay, so that's the originating register zero and one above it. I think uh, below what I what I said were the originating registers. Now that I think about it, I think those are the um, the two intercom links. And then if we go um, if we go up a little bit more, now we have the uh, both way trunks. Those are used on uh, primarily right now on incoming calls. So the one that is really hooked up, the first one that gets selected is uh, both way trunk two. And both way trunk three has an issue right now that I need to debug. The same thing with the uh, first originating register. So originating register zero has some kind of a, an issue with it and I, I busied it out. Uh, you can see that little piece of green wire that I stuck in there to keep the relay open. That's to keep uh, um, the outgoing trunk zero busied out. So whenever I dial an outgoing line, it starts with outgoing trunk one. And then above the uh, four both way trunks, there's another um, plug in outgoing trunk, outgoing trunk three and uh, four. These are very similar to the the built-in outgoing trunk below, but uh, they can do toll restriction. These are all the outgoing trunks. See, they also the three of the outgoing trunks plug in, and uh, one of the both-way trunks plug in, and the rest of them are all hardwired. 
so let's let's take a look at what the crossbar switch does um, when we uh, when we dial a call. I will dial from um, extension 69 to extension 60. First thing that happens is we go off hook and a, a route is completed to the originating register. And now we dial um, extension oop, too late. We, we hit the uh, started hit the heller trunk there. So we go off hook again, dial extension 60. Oh, and it's busy. Let's see. All right. Let me try this again. I'll dial extension 60. There we go. Now it's ringing. Let's try that again. Extension 60. Yeah, that's how it works. So that's a little bit more detail about the Oki AC125A. Thanks for watching.